He matured from childhood to sonship to purpose and to dominion. David yabashije kuva ku rwego rw'ubuhinja abo muhungu asobanukirwa intego y'ubuzima bwe aranategeka. And the mystery is he didn't even know he had attended igitangaje nuko David atarazi ko yari yarageze ku rwego rwo hejuru ntabyo yamenye he thought he was still an errand boy we yarazi ko akiri umwana batuma na sumo byararazi ko ari umuhungu batuma so son muhungu wanje take food twari ibiryo twarire bakuru bawe ibiryo to your brothers yendo gaburire bakuru bawe bari bazi ko akiri umwana the real men abagabo nyabagabo tall Bare bare bibi hanganje beza cyane ari karabana impinja Listen Reka nkubwire Dominion can never be defined by the outside Reka nkubwire ngo gutegeka ntabwo bigaragarira amaso yo hanze It was on the inside Aho gikiri mu mutima w'umuntu nicyo kigaragaza kwazi gutegeka When your tail is touched what do you do Iyo bagukoze kumutsi ukora iki The Church of Africa is raising timid souls Itorero ryo muri Africa riri gutoza who cannot even defend their territory Riri gutoza abantu badashobora no kwihagararaho ngo banahagarare kubyo bemera nibyo bize Also that agenda must change Ariko iyo mikorere igomba guhinduka Hallelujah Hallelujah now, here's the danger. David attained dominion. Now, here's the beauty of it. And that's, that's what's going to happen to Zion Temple. A, a day will come when we see people, we will confuse you. Is that apostle? This one looks like apostle. So, where is apostle? Because everybody is looking like apostle. Bigomba kugera ku rwego abantu bose basa n'intumwa bagasa nkawe umuntu ntamenye ngo uyu ni we ntumwa ngo uyu ni intumwa uyu siwe bose bagomba gusa nkawe bakamera nkawe nirwo rwego ruruhanitse The days of star gazing is over Imisi yo kureba umuntu ukamu ukamureba nk'umustari cyangwa ukigirwa amana iyo minsi iri kurangira Stop admiring your pastor be like your pastor. Mureke kwishimira umushumba wanyu mwasa nkawe mumere nkawe aho kumureba nk'umuntu wundi udasanzwe. Intumwa receive this word. Iri jambo uryakire. It's a new season. Twinjiye mu gihe gishya. Zion Temple is entering a new era. Zion Temple yinjiye mu gihe gishya. And some of the conversations we will have this week Bimwe mu biganiro n'inyigisho tuzumva muri iki cyumweru bizabikugaragariza ko twinjiye mu gihe gishya This is the season to preach the full gospel of the kingdom Iki ni giye cyo kubwiriza ubutumwa bwiza bw'ubwami bw'Imana I'm not just speaking to apostle Ntabwo mbibwiye intumwa gusa speaking to every man and every woman of god present here today ndi kubibwira umugabo wese wicaye hano numugore wese wicaye hano to preach the full unadulterated gospel of the kingdom has come igihe cyo kubwiriza ubutumwa bw'Imana bw'ubwami bwayo butavangiye na gato bwageze Tonight there are four things I would like to accomplish if God will help me. Imana ni shoboza hari ibintu bine nshaka kubaganiriza muri ubwo bwo. I want us to understand God's global agenda. Icyambere nshaka ko tuganira ni ugusobanukirwa umugambi Imana yari ifite irema ibihugu bigize isi. Why did God create nations? Kuki Imana yaremye ibihugu? Number 2. Icyakabiri I will God will help me to share with you a universal template. Imana iraza kunshoboza a universal template for human capital development. Imana inshoboze dusobanukirwe ikitegererezo rusange kiterambere ry'umuntu that will achieve that global agenda. Kugira ngo azasohoze wa mugambi w'Imana yari ifite irema ibihugu. We will then examine how he applied it to build a modern nation. 
turi burebe icya gatatu uburyo yasuzumye igerageza rya mbere ryo kubaka igihugu kikitegererezo and then from the application on a modern nation we will see how to extract lessons that we can apply to our nations. Niturangiza turareba amasomo twigira muri iryo gerageza ry'ukuntu yubate igihugu cy'ambere hanyuma turebe uburyo twabikoresha mu bihugu byacu. First question is Kibazo cy'ambere niki? Is it God's desire to bring African countries as one nation? Turagomba kubanza kwibaza tuti ese Imana irashaka ko ibihugu bya Afrika bihinduka igihugu kimwe Is it a godly goal Ese ni intego y'ubumana Or is it a personal ambition of apostle Paul Gitwaza Cyangwa ni kifuzo kintumwa Paul Gitwaza Well let me take you to Isaiah chapter 11 verse 9 Munyemerere mbajyane muri Yesaya 11 is it being projected? Yeah, uh, is it being projected? Okay, if it's not, that's okay. Yes, I have to In Isaiah uh, chapter 11, verse 9, yes, I have to the word of God says, They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountains. Mm -hmm. For the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as water covered the sea. Bibiri ravuga ngo ibyo ntibizaryana kandi ntibizono na kumusozi wanje wera wose kuko isi zakwirwa no kumenya uwiteka nkuko amazi y'inyanja akwira hose amen. Another translation says that the, that the earth shall be covered with the people that know and understand the glory of God. So God's number one agenda is to populate the earth with the people that know him and will carry out his agenda. Let me show you why it's so important for God that we, we take over territories and populate them with sons that know him. In Numbers chapter 14, the children of Israel were commanded to go and take the promised land. In other words, a starting point from where God will take over the whole earth. If they did not capture the promised land, God's agenda would never have started. But they refused. Listen to what God said. And the Lord said, uh, verse 20 Do Numbers 14 20 I have pardoned according to your word the word of Moses but truly as I live all the earth shall be filled with the glory of the Lord Uite karamugirati ndabababariye nkuko nsabye ariko nukuri ndahiye guhoraho kwanje Nuko isi yose zuzura icyubahiro cy'Uwiteka. In other words, Muyandi magambo, these ones I have told to go and take the land. Aba narabategetse ngo bagende bafate igihugu. They have refused. Banze kujya gufata igihugu. I'm finished with them. Ndangiza nje nabo. In fact, he told Moses to step back and I'm going to destroy all of them. Imana yabwiye Mose ngo jya ku ruhande mbarimbure bose. But he said, 
Nobody is going to stop my agenda. My glory must cover the earth as water cover the sea. Iravuga ngo nubwo bigenze bityo nta uzahagarika umugambi wanje kuko byanze bikunze isi igomba kuzura icyubayiro cyanje In fact if you go down to verse 24 you say that my servant Caleb because he has a different spirit in him and has followed me fully I will bring into the land where he went and his descendants shall inherit it no simbuka ku murongo wa 24 w'icyo gice bibiri ravuga ngo keretse umugaragu wanje Karebu kuko yari afite undi mutima agakurikira uko muyobora muri byose nzamujyana mu gihugu yagiyemo urubyaro rwe ruzakigira gakondo Why will I bless Caleb? Kuki nzaho umugisha Karebu? Because he has a spirit Kubera yuko afite umutima to conquer territory. Afite umutima ufata ubutaka. Apostle let me tell you what that spirit is. Inomwe reka ngubwire uwo mutima ukute. Spirit of dominion. No umutima wo gutegeka hugeze. God desires to take over nations. Imana irashaka gutegeka ibihugu byose. Why? Kubera iki? The earth is the Lord's. Kubera yuko isi ari uwiteka. The fullness thereof. Isi nibiyuzuyemo byose nibyo uwiteka. In fact in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. Iyo somye mwitangiriro igice cy'ambere umurongo wa 22. He gave a command. Yatanze itegeko. And then God blessed them and said to them Verse 28, be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth, fill the earth, leave no space and subdue it and have dominion. Itangiri yice cya mbere 28 biravuga ngo Imana ibaho umugisha, Imana irababwira iti mwororoke, mugwire, mwuzuri si. The dominion mandate is not a suggestion. Itegeko ryo kuzura isi nabwo ari igitekerezo imana iha abantu. It's a command. Ni itegeko iha abantu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But listen to this. Ariko mu ntega matwi. God said. Imana yaravuze. Be fruitful. Ngo ni mwororoke before you multiply. Mbere yuko mugwira never you multiply nimuzagwire until you are fruitful mutarororoka there are actually you know fruitfulness is a qualitative term kororoka ni ni barabipima bafite uburyo babipima ni ijambo rigaragaza igipimo runaka multiplication is a quantitative term kugwira ni gihe ubasha gupima uburyo abantu bikubye inshuro nyinshi what is god saying imana irashaka kuvuga iki hano before you unite african countries mbere yuko muhuza ibihugu bya afrika and make the one nation First of all, raise them to a level of quality. And then multiply quality. What are the questions I have for pastors tonight? What have you been multiplying? There are actually four levels to fruitfulness. Four levels. I call them the four D's of fruitfulness. There the beginning level is that a, a state of bondage. A state of Ignorance. The first step is going from ignorance 
to deliverance or to enlightenment. Urwego rwa mbere rwo kuboha ruba rurimo ubujiji bwinshi umuntu akava mu bujiji none akajya ku rwego rwo kubohoka. If we are going to unite African nations. Nimba dushaka guhuza ibihugu bya Afrika. The first step is to deliver them from ignorance. Icya mbere dukeneye kujijura abanyafrika. One of the major causes of conflict in Africa is ignorance. Amakimbirane ari ku mugabane wacu wa Africa ashingiye ahanini ku bujiji bw'abanyafrika. You cannot unite unenlightened mind. Ntabwo wahuza injiji ngo zibwire ngo zige hamwe zigira icyo zigeraho. That's why deliverance is the starting point. Niyo mpamvu urwego rwa mbere ari kubohoka. And the deliverance I'm talking about here is the knowledge of Christ, Kand the light. Kandi kubohoka guhera mu kumenya Kristo no kumurikirwa n'umucyo we. The scripture says in him is the light. That light is the life. Ijambo ry'Imana ravuga ngo muri we harimo umucyo kandi umucyo nibwo bugingo If you're going to bring African together they must come to the light Nimba dushaka ko abanyafrika bahuza ni babanze babone umucyo bamurikirwe Hallelujah Hallelujah But deliverance produces children Ariko rero kubohoka kubyara abana and children are selfish. Abana bari kund. So you need to engage the second level. Iyo maze kubyara abana rero ubugomba kubashyira ku rwego rwa kabiri. Discipleship. Kubatoza ngo babe abigishwa. Discipleship. Gutozwa kuba umwigishwa. Takes children to sonship. Nurwego ruvana abana mu bwana rukabagira abantu bakuze na here's the danger dore kibazaho kiri rero apostle i don't know i just feel like i'm talking to you ino mwumbabarira ko ndumva nshaka kukuganiriza there must be a shift major shift kuko hagomba kubaho impinduka igaragara kandi ikomeye muri zayo ntembo you know the danger of deliverance uzi kibazo cyo kubohoka it produces children kubohoka kubyara abana you can build anything with children nako wagira ikintu uba kawujuje abana all they are thinking about their stomach iminja zirebinda ziba ziteganya icyo ziri burye now here's the danger dore kibazo rero if you multiply at that level Iyo ugwije abana gusa you create a nation of children ugira igihugu cy'impinja gusa and you cannot succeed with children nushobora gutera imbere wujuje impinja all you do is multiply trouble ubukuba ibibazo ugwiza ibibazo iyo ugwije impinja your church may be full with 10,000 of them ushobora kuba kitorero ry'abantu ibihumbi 10 ariko bimpinja and you're bragging that I have a 10,000 seat. But all they are are children. Because you're multiplying children. If you will invest and raise them to be sons. And then you multiply at that level. At least you multiply mature people. That can work with you. Most churches in Africa are multiplying children. Ikibazo dufite mu matorero yo muri Afrika I'm, I'm bragging about how many children they have been enslaved in their buildings. Ikibazo amatorero yo muri Afrika afite nuko agwije iminja abashumba bayo matorero bakishimira iminja bagwije bafungiranye mu nsengero zabo ngo dufite abakristo benshi kandi bagwije iminja And I challenge you every member of uh, Zion Temple Naje rero kubabwira no kubahiga abatisto Rise from childhood and Mukure mure mure kurwego rwo buhinja mukure 
God can never build a nation of children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Apostle, you invited me, right? So I must speak. Now, the danger of just stopping at the sonship level is that you have produced people who now understand the Bible. They can quote the scripture. In fact, they know who is a good teacher and who is not a good teacher. But they don't understand purpose. So they will be fighting with you for the pulpit. It's, it's, it's my turn to preach. Because they think that purpose is the pulpit. And they are excellent in, in knowing who is a good preacher. That one is good. Maturity with that direction. I'm sorry to say majority of the Bible schools are full of them. Teaching godly principles that they don't even know how to apply in the real world. Apostle, you will make sure I leave Rwanda safely. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. So that's why you must go from deliverance to discipleship that produces sons. But don't stop there. At that point is when God will say, Today you are my son. I have now begotten you. Now ask, ask. So I can tell you your purpose. That's why the first day is deliverance. And we must do it. The second day is discipleship. To produce sons. The third day is purpose. Ask of me. I will give you nation. Very few churches take their members to that third level. Let, let me tell you the danger. So they are mature then to be sung quite all right. But God wants to send them in the business sector. But they will use them to go and start a branch. So when he gets there, he starts a branch and turns into a business. Because that's his gifting. Or he's a musician. You make him a pastor. When he starts the church, all they do all day is sing. You say, teach the word. You say, no, it's praise the Lord. You say, no, it's praise the Lord. Misplacement. God calls him into politics. He him to go and start a branch. He turns it into a political center. And they will 
Because all the church ever thinks is one sphere. Kukitorero, Just the church. Itorero rirebe, itorero gusa. Ni wo musozi rirebe. The earth is the Lord. Kandi bibiliya ivuga ngo isi yose ni uwiteka. Praise the Lord. Imana yacu shimwe. So if you take them to that third level, you by Jesusiro kurgu ego ruaga tatu ruaga kumeni nego yu zima kavo. They understand purpose. But angira kumeni chova re mewe gukor. But if you don't mature them to be effective in that purpose, ari ko kurgu kurgu ego yu tabi jisishengo na hoba jiru mumaro. All they will be doing is walking around and talking purpose. Icho ba kora no kufugi nego ari ko ni ba ikor ba gumaba fugi nego yu zima kavo gus. No effective. Na na musaruro batanga mu ntego no results na musaruro ushobora kubona kuri ugo rwego rwa gatatu Somebody shout hallelujah Agira umuntu uvuga hallelujah So when they discover purpose iyo basobanukiwe intego you take them to the fourth level ugomba kubageza ku rwego rwa kane Give them a dominion mentality. Kujira ngoba jiri mitechele reze yogu tejeka. Which they will rule over their spirit. Kujira ngo kumuso ziba haka zeho ba tejeke nya yogu tejeka. And by the way, the method you use for deliverance is different from the method you use for discipleship. It's different from the system you use for discovery. It's different from the system you use for dominion. The kangirichi nunfuga, ubu menyukore shiuvana awa nukurgue gorgu ambere, ahoba bohoka, butandu kanyanubu menyukore sha yuwa jirabi jishkwa, butandu kanyanubu menyukore sha yuwa fasha gusowa nukirgu inhego yuwa zimabugabo, butandu kanyanubu menyuza kore sha, ubo hereza kumisozi ngu wajie guteje ka kumisozi, ubu rjubi kora bira tandu kanyi. The method we use where we lump everybody together from Sunday to Sunday. We don't distinguish those that would have been delivered that are children. From the ones that, that have been discipled and their sons. From, from the ones that have discovered purpose. Inego, baka hindu kaba na wakuzi. Nitumenya kuvita andu kanya mumatera nilo kuchumgeru. Bose vichara hamge, baka bgiru kwa vimu. We lump them together from Sunday to Sunday. Kuchumgeru, tukisangatu huza wanu, bada huji jichiro, kandi tuwa inijo imu. And yet the systems they need to be taught will be different. Nyamara, inijisho bacheneye, nimijishirize, iratandu kanya kukobari munze gozi tandu kanya. Assess yourself. Where are you? De kangu waze wowe uri kuru herwe. Are you still a child from deliverance? Wa butiro rohi injaro chimara kuba hoka. Or have you become a son? Ese waba yungi jishwa. Have you discovered purpose? Ese wame njenge goyo wuzimabga wewe. And have you been trained in the systems you 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 need to have dominion in this? Ese waba wara tojwe ngo umenyu kuzate jeka umusozi waherejwe. Apostle, if we don't move to level three and four, the African church, not only will we continue to struggle, they will not be able to address issues, global trends that are about to engulf us very soon. Inomga, ito rerodyo mura Afrika, ni ritajera kurugu ya gorgu waga tatu nurugu wakane, riza mirugu wa bunguri, ni bijie gutera isi. Let me show you how Israel applied this model. God called Abraham at the age of 75. Come out from your people. Why? I want to give you a new mindset. I want to deliver you. And I want to disciple you. I want to show you purpose. And give you a dominion mentality. So when God called Abraham, he left. 
That's deliverance. He left everything and followed God. But when he left, he was still a liar. He was still very fearful. God had to deal with all of that. It took God almost 25 years to bring Abraham from deliverance to dominion. I don't have time to show you all the struggles. Even, let me just talk about discovering purpose. When Abraham matured and became a son, God changed his name from Abraham to Abraham. But he still didn't understand purpose. He was still asking God to bless Ishmael. All oh, that Ishmael may leave. God said, Ishmael is not my purpose in you. If Isaac, shall you be named? There are still a lot of churches that are holding on to Ishmael. And Finally, when he now saw that Isaac is the purpose, with a lot of pain, he sent Ishmael away. But let me warn you, Ishmael found a way and came back. It's difficult to get rid of Ishmael. Finally, when he understood purpose, what did he do? He said, God gave gifts to his, the sons of his concubine and gave everything to Isaac and sent all of them away so that his purpose will grow. Abraham amaze gusobanukirwa ibibaye afata umwanya wo guha impano abagore be cyangwa se inshorekeze nabana babo arabohereza bajya kure bajya kure ya Isaka arangije abona guha byose atunze Isaka to unite african nations kugira ngo duhuze ibihugu bya Afrika we have to help them to get rid of Ishmael tugomba kubifasha kurwanya ba Ishmael things that they are doing that are not in God's agenda bya bintu abanya Afrika bakora bitari mu mugambi w'Imana we're doing them because we're emotionally connected to them. We're not And for you to partake, for example, look at me, a chemistry professor in U.S. Why, why would I leave America and come to Africa? When the Lord told me chemistry is an Ishmael ministry. It's something that you gave birth to when you didn't know me intimately. Wabjaye shimi, we sanze muri shimi, kubera kutarunzi, utaruzi no mugambi, na kureme. Ishmael looks very good. Leka ngubgira ngo Ishmael abari mngiza, asaneza. My time is going. Ije chanje chira ranjiye. Eventually, Abraham attained dominion. Abraham ya jeze kurgoe gorgo gutejeka. His next challenge is to make sure that Isaac acquires that dominion mentality. So he had to take Isaac from deliverance to discipleship to purpose discovery and to dominion. Not only that, the scripture said that Abraham had actually developed a system to command his children and children's children 
to always have a dominion mentality. Abraham yageze ku rwego bibirira vuga ngo yageze ku rwego atoza abana be inzira z'Imana abana be nabuzukuru nabuzukuru zabe yari yarashize himikorere yo gutoza abamukomokaho You cannot build a successful African nation with timid mentality Ntabwo wakubaka igihugu cy'Afrika gishitse abantu bakitinya bagifite ubwoba The greatest responsibility of every generation is to make sure the next generation you're handing over to have a dominion mindset. Inshingano za mbere dufite nk'abanyafrika no gukora imirimo tugatoza abazadukomokaho gutegeka cyangwa se gukomereza muri bya bindi twubatse. Even to you today. Uyu munsi now no generation in Israel is left weak. Uyu munsi muri Israeli nta munyantege nke ubayo. To live next generation week is a failure. Iyo abagukurikira cyangwa abagukomokaho badafite imbaraga uba waraneshejwe. So Abraham made sure that Isaac got it. Isaac made sure that Jacob got it all the way to Joseph. Everybody in fact Moses say I become a god to Pharaoh. Abrahamu yakoze ibishoboka ngo Isaka na wategeke Isaka na wakora ibishoboka kugira ngo Yakobo na wategeke Yakobo na wakora ibishoboka byose kugira ngo abamukomokaho bakomere bategeke Bibiliya iravuga ngo Mose yarahagaze nk'Imana kandi Mose yari umwuzukuruza wa Abrahamu ngo yahagaze nk'Imana imbere ya Farao Every one of you will attain dominion mentality. Buri muntu wese wicaye hano ahabwe imitekerereze yo gutegeka ndetse n'abamukomokaho nabo bazategeke. Every man woman created of God has a dominion seed in you. Kubera yuko icyaremwe cyose gifite imbuto yo gutegeka cyakuye ku mana. There is a seed with which to do good. Ariko ni imbuto yo gukora ibyiza. Praise the Lord. And this continued. Every generation in Israel, make sure, make sure they train, they train anything they need to do to make sure that before they die, the next generation has that rulership mentality. Ah. Hatazigera habura umutegetsi muri Israel. A leader that loves his people will bring them to dominion level. Umuyobozi ukunda abantu ayoboye azamura bato kugira ngo nabo bageze ku rwego rwe rwo gutegeka. That's how you sustain what you have built. Ubwo nibwo bwonyine buryo wasigasira ibyo wubatse. Leaders that don't develop their people They are actually plotting their own failure. Abayobozi badategura abantu babo baba babategurira kunanirwa no kuneshwa. And that's what happened with the Joshua generation. Urubyaro rwa Yosua. They finally entered the promised land. Bibiliya itwereka ko binjiye mu gihugu cy'amasezerano. And then there are things to build. We need to build houses. We need to build roads. Bisanga bagomba kubaka amazu, kubaka imihanda. Prosperity message is good but if it's not managed it destroys the next generation. Ubutumwa bw'ubutunzi no gukira ni bwiza ariko iyo budategetswe neza bwica imyumvire y'abantu. They were so focused in building and erecting they forgot to teach the rudiments to the next generation. Abantu binjiranye na Yosuwa mu gihugu cy'amasezerano bihutiye kubaka amazu n'imihanda bibagirwa gutoza abana babo ibyivanze byari kuzakenerwa ba Yosuwa barapfuye you know, I haven't been in Rwanda for five years Maze nk'imyaka 5 ntagera mu Rwanda I came in today and say my god Uyo munsi nitegereje urwanda ndavuga nti mana roads i knew before imihanda nari nzi beautiful buildings everywhere Kubatsema amazu akomeye And I started clapping. But I said to myself, I hope in building the high rises, you haven't forgotten the rudiment that brought you here. Navuze nti nubwo izinyubako ziri kubakwa nizere ko harimo gutozwa abazasigasira izinyubako zubakwa. 
Because the mistake that parents make is that we don't want our children to suffer what we suffered. Yet it is what you suffered that made you who you are. They come up giri kosa ababje iba kunze gukora. Ababje iba kunze kufuga. Ngo sinshaka kumga na wanja zaru hangu kona rushe reka mutetesh. Nyamari miruho yawe ni yiku jeshe shahuru yumuzi. Ariko nushaka kuiji shunga ni miruho warushi. Rwanda keep developing. But don't lose your values. Banyar Gwanda mukomeze mwoba ke ariko ni mngiba jirguinda gaga chiro zatu mnye mujera kubja mojezu yumonsi. And so the Joshua generation they got caught up in all the new buildings the, the new mihanda, cars the, the high rises and they didn't teach their children what brought them to where they were and when they were all gone they went back to slavery they lost their dominion mentality Every pastor, every leader listening to me, if you're not bringing your people to dominion level, you're not helping Africa. Your, your, you're just developing slaves. That others will come and just run over. Church is more than gathering and singing. There is an agenda that God wants to fulfill. There is an he wants to build people with whom he can build a nation. Many a time, I'm not saying that singing and dancing is not good. And thank you, I got to see my friends from Burundi. I was even practicing a little <laughs> bit, you know. Because that's what happened. And so, throughout the era of judges, a, a, a nation that once commanded fear, we are now hiding in caves because of prosperity message. That, that didn't balance it with God's agenda. King Saul came. He, he thought he could rescue Israel. But he was never mentored beyond level two. He was not a son. How can a son deliver? He was a child. And the scripture says, Woe unto you, O land, when your king is a child. So their princes will feast in the morning. You know, I, 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 somebody once said, I think it was Miles Monroe, that a group of lions led by a sheep will be defeated by a group of sheep led by a lion. Miles Manro Yaravuzengo Inare Ziyobo Wenin Hama Imunge Ari Zirongo Yimbere Iziranga Jimbere Ngwizane Shkwa Ngwazizane Shkwa Nina Maziyobo Wenin Hare Imung. 
Because people will emulate their leaders. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm monitoring my time. Apostle, you gave me 15 minutes. I have seven more minutes. So I'm monitoring my time. And then a son came, David. And somehow, David, he caught the glimpse that dominion is the key to building a nation. And he started rubbing minds with the lion of tribe of Judah. Worshipping worship him. You cannot rub mine with the lion of Judah and not become a lion. He matured from childhood to sonship to purpose and to dominion. David yabashije kuva ku rwego rw'ubuhinja abumuhungu asobanukirwa intego y'ubuzima bwe aranategeka. And the mystery is he didn't even know he had attended. Igitangaje nuko David atarazi ko yari yarageze ku rwego rwo hejuru ntabyo yamenye. He thought he was still an errand boy. We yarazi ko akiri umwana batuma. He thought that thought he was an errand boy. Nasumo byararazi ko ari umuhungu batuma. So son, muhungu wanje, take food. Twari ibiryo twarire bakuru bawe ibiryo. To your brothers. Yendo gaburire bakuru bawe. Bari bazi ko akiri umwana. The real men. Abagabo nyabagabo. Tall. Bare bare bibi hanganje beza cyane ari karabana impinja Listen reka nkubwire dominion can never be defined by the outside Reka nkubwire ngo gutegeka ntabwo bigaragarira amaso yo hanze It was on the inside Aho gikiri mu mutima w'umuntu nicyo kigaragaza kwazi gutegeka When your tail is touched what do you do Iyo bagukoze kumutsi ukora iki The Church of Africa is raising timid souls Itorero ryo muri Africa riri gutoza who cannot even defend their territory Riri gutoza abantu badashobora no kwihagararaho ngo banahagarare kubyo bemera nibyo bize Also that agenda must change Ariko iyo mikorere igomba guhinduka Hallelujah Hallelujah now, here's the danger. David attained dominion. Now, here's the beauty of it. And that's, that's what's going to happen to Zion Temple. A, a day will come when we see people, we will confuse you. Is that apostle? This one looks like apostle. So, where is apostle? Because everybody is looking like apostle. Bigomba kugera ku rwego abantu bose basa n'intumwa bagasa nkawe umuntu ntamenye ngo uyu ni we ntumwa ngo uyu ni intumwa uyu siwe bose bagomba gusa nkawe bakamera nkawe nirwo rwego ruruhanitse The days of star gazing is over Imisi yo kureba umuntu ukamu ukamureba nk'umustar cyangwa ukigirwa amana iyo minsi iri kurangira Stop admiring your pastor be like your pastor. Mureke kwishi miru mushumba wanyu. Ngasa ngawe. Mumere ngawe. Aho kumurewa ngumunu undu da sanzuki. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so, just as I'm winding down. Du soza. You know why David succeeded? He took a group of nobodies. David by, the by the time he finished with them, they were like him. They were called mighty men of God. David was not the only one killing lions. Every one of them were killing lions. David yahagurukije intwari nkawe bibiri bibita ngo intwari za David ntabwo ari we wenyine wicaga intare ahubwo nabagendanaga na David bicaga intare. Which means he was intentional. Bivuze iki bivuze ko yakoraga ibinarishize wo mutima. You must rise to dominion. Mwese mugomba kugera ku rwego rwo gutegeka. 
allowed to wallow Na, in mediocrity. Na munu tujenda na nja nemere la gukori minu vida shite bituzu ye oya. That's the new Africa we're going to build. Iyo new Africa duchene, niyo duchene kubak. We would take time to, you know, yes, we'll do evangelism. We, we, we will win them. Yeah, the, we, we won't stop there. We will disciple them. Absolutely. Absolutely. If we have to kill them, I'd rather die in discipleship than remain a child. Praise the Lord. In the nation of Israel, David makes sure David that every tribe had mighty men. So he populated the tribes. Go and look at First Chronicles chapter 12. Men of valor. Who know how to shoot the arrow and the spear. Who are as agile. As gazelle on the mountain top. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. Everywhere, Horse. people with dominion mindset. How did God honor that? His first glory, house of glory, manifested. There's a second house of glory coming. I suspect it's going to be in Africa. And for that to happen, we we have to raise mighty men. To go and go out to the people who are them in the second place. The first glory was populating mighty men in the tribes. In the kingdom. It is in the seventh place. Praise the Lord. My time is up. Yes, we're going to build Africa. But not Africa that has all this tribal mentality. We will build Africa. With the people whose mindset has been refined. Who no longer look at self by self according to tribes. But people who see themselves according to the purpose of God. And that's what I will pray and believe God for. What am I trying to say? The next step in Africa development is discipleship. To raise sons. Apostle. I see the Africa Hagaruka conference. All these men of God you are mentioning, they are coming. I see a time when they come, they will come with their sons, some in governance, some in business, some in uh, the, uh, after this general section tomorrow, all the sons in business will meet together. All the sons in government, what are they discussing? How Africa will work together in business. Mm. How Africa will work together in, in, in different spheres. Mm. That's how we unite Africa. 
nuko iki giterane cy'Afrika haguruka kitagomba kurangirira hano ahubwo aba bantu bose twatumiye bazaza ejo mu nama zitandukanye baze ndetse bazane n'abahungu babo bakuze tuze twigire hamwe uburyo Afrika twayihindura mu bucuruzi uburyo twahindura Afrika mu miyoborere myiza uburyo twahindura Afrika mu muryango mu burezi muri ya misozi yose ubwo nibwo tuzahindura Afrika you know the beauty of that uzikiza kibi every time we meet they will give a testimony of the businesses they have done. They will give a testimony of the incredible things they have done across Africa. That testimony will want other ministers to bring their sons. That's my prayer. Shall we stand? Lord, I thank you tonight. You are taking the church to the next level. According to your purpose. That Rwanda be filled with sons that know the Lord and execute his agenda in the seven spheres that Africa be filled with sons that fear you execute your agenda and even the whole world will come together to execute Lord, it is a tall order. But if you have purposed it, then you will release the grace. And today we receive the grace to move to that next level of raising sons and networking them. To achieve, to achieve your purpose. We receive the wisdom. We receive the understanding. We know that with you. All things are possible. Thank you for Zion Temple. Zion Temple will continue to be a model. Zion Temple is a model. Lord, bless, continue to bless this ministry. Through this ministry, show us the next thing you are doing. Blessed be your name forever. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Mbega 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 mwafashijwe Have you been blessed Davizi twatize ni mumbu murutwe gusa mwicara murutwe mu you may be seated Just Thank you. for a minute give me one minute Oh 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 imane go mugisha May God bless you Za desine For these Murazi murazi buka You remember them Ya mbere ni yi What's the first one Deliverance, Deliverance, discipleship, discover your purpose, purpose. then dominion. Nibi nubzoro che simple. Four simple things. Kuboho uka uka menya yesu. To be delivered. Uga tozwa uka uga sana yesu. Discipleship. A discipleship. Uka uga tozwa sana yesu. And you become like Jesus. Uka wana kumenyi ntego. And you get the, uh, your purpose. Inte ukame nyinde u discover. You discover your purpose. Hanyumi yonde yego ikagushira kumusozi wa ukaute. And then the purpose gives you dominion over your mind. Nubwa butuma mu bufati tukani. Those are the four key points, and take it as your message for today. Daud. David. Yera bohote. He was delivered. Arakura aratozwa. He was. He, he was discipled. Ame nyinde yego. He discovered. His purpose. He could not fear the giant because he had a dominion over his mind. Another point he mentioned. In every 12 tribe, 
Before David had his own people, who were just like him, who were warriors they took out to a point of killing giants like David killed they killed lions they killed lions they were simple people like him he trained them then in every tribe there were men like him and women like him they were men of valor just like David so every tribe had people like David now he concludes by saying the problem that we have in our family there are divisions now it is a time where men who are just like David they have their own people they have their own families but they are in our nation build our nation he said the message is for me but I had to give it to you let it be yours I have to build my own people and I have to build my own people I cannot do it alone but go and have a dominion on each mountain brethren this is a very 